World leaders are gathering here in the Egyptian desert to discuss climate change. Will the rich world deliver on its promises of help for developing nations? The negotiations will be tough. Join me, Justin Rowlett, here on BBC World News. America has voted for its members of Congress and state governors. But the final results and the implications for the country and beyond are still to be decided. Join me, Barbara Platt Usher, for continuing coverage of the U.S. midterm elections here on BBC World News. Being at the heart of a live news show is challenging. So when events move quickly, you need to make sure you have the facts. And that's where experience counts. And having a I love the pressure of being live. I feel like we're doing a job that matters. You're live with Lucy Hawkins on BBC World News. This is BBC World News. I'm Karin Ginoni. Our top stories. President Zelensky says Ukraine is moving very carefully after Russia's announcement that it's withdrawing troops from the southern Ukrainian city of Kherson. Russian leader Vladimir Putin is staying away from next week's G20 summit in Indonesia, turning down his long-standing invitation. President Biden welcomes the results of the midterm elections and has this to say about his future. My intention is that I run again, but I'm a great respecter of fate. And uh, this is ultimately a family decision. I think everybody wants me to run, but we're going to have discussions about it. And high speed sale, a record price for the legendary car that had an even more legendary driver. All of you watching on PBS and around the globe, a warm welcome to BBC World News. President Zelensky says Ukraine is moving very carefully after Russia's announcement that it's withdrawing its troops from the southern Ukrainian city of Kherson. Russia's commander in Ukraine says it's no longer possible to keep supplying troops there. For the last few weeks, Ukrainian forces have been slowly advancing towards the city, keeping up the pressure on Russian forces. Russian troops will now be consolidated to the east, on the other side of the Dnipro River from Kherson. In his nightly address, President Zelensky said Ukraine is treading carefully after Russia's retreat. The enemy does not give us gifts, does not make gestures of goodwill. We fight for it all. 